Okay, a couple updates for you. I am currently in Victoria, British Columbia. I left LA almost eight weeks ago with the intention of going back to continue training after a week or two break. And as soon as I landed in Victoria, it started escalating very quickly. And then within a week, borders were closed. Eight weeks later, I'm still here. It's been beautiful and lovely, um, but it's not what I imagined my life would look like, as I'm sure many of us don't. I was feeling, I haven't really been, I needed a break, just didn't really feel like engaged. But then I got challenged to do this video and I did it and I had so much fun doing it and it was received really well and it made me smile to see all of your comments. It made you laugh, it brightened your day. Um, it inspired me to kind of get back on the horse and start creating something. I've been torn between what kind of content I should be putting out there if it's you know more serious because it's a pretty serious situation we're in and I wanted to be respectful of the tone of what I'm posting about but at the same time we all need a little bit of laughter right now and just like lightheartedness. I was definitely overthinking everything and I'm gonna try and stop that after this long-winded introduction that is my way of saying that this is a my new life in quarantine video no it's a a day in my quarantine life no a day in my life quarantine edition is what this is so i'm just going to show you what i do it's 10 a.m currently i woke up about an hour ago my sleep schedule has been a little all over the place um what did we do we had a little bit of a slow morning it's friday we wanted to sleep in no alarm friday i made myself tea it's a little bit later than i normally start my day but the first thing i like to do is move my body i usually do like kind of a more gentle flow just to like wake my body up and then i'll do a second session in the afternoon with more weights um, I'll show you my little gym. It's actually been awesome and I love it. And it has everything that I need for this. I can still get a pretty good sweat on and I'm really grateful that I have this space. I usually do my first workout and have a green juice and then have like a proper breakfast after that. Like once I get the body moving and the blood flowing and once I feel awake. So let's get started. I love that. It's the best way to start the day. Just a little upper lip sweat. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Being on the West Coast and just constant notifications. Um, being on the West Coast, I'm three hours behind what I'm used to being. And so I'd wake up and my inbox would be at like 21 emails and I would just get so flustered. Now I've made that a priority not to attend to anything on my phone before I get my body moving. And then once I do that, check that off my list, then I'll start looking at my emails and spend, I don't know, an hour or so. I don't know. It, I'm not really that structured with this, but I like to have some kind of semblance of a routine. So you're gonna just watch me sit at my computer. I have the house to myself and it's the greatest thing ever. It doesn't happen very often, so I take full advantage. Okay, had a 30 second dance party, did about an hour of email. Um, I've just been notorious lately for leaving people on red, just not even opening my messages. And I need to be better at that. So I'm gonna go make my favorite little quarantine snack and then check out my phone. 
then you're just gonna watch me look at my phone a lot. Hmm. I've been here for the last hour and a bit. My butt is numb and I forgot I have a call in 30 minutes with my sports psych and then uh, I'm going to do a workout after that. That was amazing. It's basically like coconut, turmeric, vegetable soup. So good. And now I'm going to work out. The second workout of the day is always the hardest to like get motivated again. The bangs are still growing out. It's been a long, long process. I eat too many snacks, so I'm just gonna give it a few minutes and then I'll start working out. A little longer than a few minutes later. That sucked, but at the same time felt so good. In here, I just have Greek yogurt and an apple and lots of cinnamon to make like this nice thick apple cinnamon base. And then I add a scoop of the Genuine Health fermented vegan chocolate protein powder. And then I'll top it with some granola. I was kind of getting tired of drinking smoothies. So then I started making these smoothie bowls that I could feel like I'm actually eating something substantial. You get kind of this like moussey texture. So it also feels like a little indulgent. I don't know. Maybe I've lost it, but I like it. I try and make it a priority to go outside and just get some fresh air. We're about to watch the season finale. Um, I'm not ready for the series to end though because it's amazing. Anyways, I guess that's what I do in a day. Hope you liked it.